Welcome into 12 News at 10. I'm Rachel Hackbar and I'm Michael Schwenke. Tonight we are taking a closer look at the judge who signed off on that warrant and her own criminal history. We've learned she has two DUI arrests on her record. Brandon Stick joins us now with what he's learning tonight. Brandon. That's right, Mike. Rachel, the national spotlight is now on that 8th Judicial District Magistrate and her signature. That signature that would grant the Marion Police Department the authority to raid the Marion County record. Now that decision is being questioned justify a search warrant like this. But somehow a warrant to search and seize computers from a small town newspaper happened. And the judge who signed that warrant is Laura Viar. What we do know is a Marion business owner accused the Marion County record of identity theft related to their unpublished investigative reporting on her prior DUI arrest and suspended driver's license status. But now we learn that the judge herself also has two DUIs. Those incidents both happened in 2012 in Morris and Coffee counties. She also had a suspended driver's license. So could the judge have been influenced by this? Washburn Law School Dean Jeffrey Jackson doesn't think so. With search warrant validity, we don't in, we don't really look at, well, the judge might have had an ulterior motive, right? The question is just, is there enough information there for probable cause or is there not? But to search a newsroom, the probable cause is different. I think it's important to understand that in situations like this, in fact, uh, the threshold for probable cause is actually higher. The search warrant, in order to be effective, must be framed with scrupulous exactitude. A threshold put in place to avoid searches such as this. One of the things that we try and not do is have is give law enforcement what is a the term of art is a general warrant, right? Go see, go to this place, see if you find crime. And Dean Jackson thinks the Marion County record raid was just that, general. It is incumbent on the judge to actually you know, do some research to realize that we treat these things differently, obviously. Um, but as I say, it's, it's very unusual. It doesn't happen. Those DUIs on the judge's record Dean Jackson says that if she did not disclose that to the nominating committee who appointed her to her position, there is a case for judicial misconduct and possible discipline if it did happen. And we will continue to ask those questions. Mike, Rachel.